Okay, hi there. Welcome to another look at how to write a data response answer. Uh, this time we'll take a look at the German fiscal stimulus brought in in the summer, the early summer of 2020. The German government has decided to kickstart their economy using a fiscal stimulus, a uh, Keynesian fiscal stimulus, if you like. The centerpiece is a three percentage point cut in VAT for six months from 19 to 16%. Uh, they've also announced an increased subsidy to consumers who are by thinking of buying electric vehicles. They've added €3,000 to the subsidy. Uh, families also will receive a one-off bonus of €300 Euros per child. So the German government has basically brought in a fiscal stimulus. Here's some of the data on the German economy. Clearly, 2020 is going to be a very difficult year for many countries, including the UK and including Germany, which is Europe's biggest Economy GDP is forecast to fall by 9% in 2020. Consumer spending by 10%. Investment spending in machinery and, and, and uh, equipment by 20%. Exports down 14%. Uh, consumer prices, uh, rate of inflation forecast to fall close to zero. Unemployment rising to nearly 7%. And the German government running from a budget surplus to a budget deficit of 8.7%, according to this data. Well, here's the practice question we'll just have a look at for a few minutes using the data provided and with the aid of an aggregate demand and supply diagram consider the likely macroeconomic effects of a cut in VAT. Lots we could look at of course in a 10 mark question all they're looking for here is for you to make two valid KA points building chains of reasoning and make two evaluation points so we have six KA marks available and four evaluation points. I'll take you through an answer. It's not designed to be a perfect answer. It's one that we came up with when we were discussing it in our class a few days ago. So break your answer up, four separate paragraphs, KEA followed by evaluation, then do again, do the same again. So it's basically a fairly short uh, 10 mark answer. So first KEA point, one impact could be to increase consumer demand as the 3% fall in VAT might lead to lower prices in the shops. And if prices go down, this can cause a rise in real incomes, which therefore lifts a household's purchasing power. Consumption is the biggest component of demand, C plus I plus G plus X minus M, and therefore it's likely that the cut would increase incomes and also raise consumer confidence, adding to demand. Table 2 shows a forecast fall in consumption of 10%, but a rebound of 7% next year, perhaps helped by the decision to cut VAT. And that's going back to the data in the extract so make it clear in the answer you're referring to table two where consumer spending is going to take a big hit this year but perhaps rebound more uh, in the in the next year perhaps helped by a cut in VAT however is my evaluation point the impact of a fall in VAT on consumers depends in part that's a good evaluation phrase to use depends in part on whether German businesses choose to pass on some or all of the tax reduction. You see, VAT is a tax on suppliers. It's not a tax on consumers. It's a tax on producers. And what might happen is that suppliers, German businesses, might seek to keep their prices relatively constant um, to help restore profits because they have to pay now less VAT. Uh, table 2 shows a forecast fall in investment of nearly 10%, suggesting low profitability. Uh, it might be the case that if you if you want to pass if you want to make a bigger impact on consumers, cutting VAT to zero, for example, for six months, might make a bigger difference to people's real incomes. So suggesting here that three percent fall in VAT is unlikely really to have much effect on consumer prices. My second KA point is that a cut in VAT could stimulate business investment. VAT is charged to suppliers. So falling VAT would increase their operating profits and lift business confidence or Keynesian animal spirits, perhaps leading to an increase in demand for capital goods. Investment likely to fall by more than 20% in 2020, suggesting a, a VAT fall would be welcome. So I'm suggesting here that cutting VAT could help uh, limit the collapse in business investment spending. We'll come back to the diagram in a second. However, investment is driven by many factors and tends to lag changes in operating profits. So we're saying here that a six-month temporary 3% reduction in VAT is unlikely 
to be very effective in increasing planned investment. Perhaps a policy, a stimulus policy with more impact would be the increased subsidies for buyers of electric cars, which might catalyse, accelerate investment in e-vehicles and perhaps also critically the associated electrical vehicle, electric vehicle infrastructure, such as things like charging points. In a 10 mark, you don't have to write an awful lot. You just need to make two valid KA points and evaluate both of the points you've made. It's not an essay, a 10 marker. A lot of people tend to overwrite on 10 markers. They're just looking for good economics and good use of the extracts. And also an ADS diagram. So presumably we're looking here to show what might happen uh, to demand and supply. Here's your starting point. Well, a cut, oh, whoops, a cut in uh, VAT could stimulate a bit of extra demand in the economy. So AD1 could shift from AD1 to AD2. Let's put that in here. If you believe that VAT will increase consumer spending, it's going to add to demand. Uh, keep in mind, of course, that VAT would also reduce the firm's costs. So it could be the case that aggregate supply would shift outwards, uh, in which case there's a more than more than fair chance that uh, if we just shift in a little bit here, that the German economy could expand. GDP might increase without then necessarily being uh, a deflationary factor. You've got higher demand and lower costs. So in theory, in theory, uh, a, a fall in VAT could be good for stimulating the German economy. Of course, the slight danger is if you cut VAT, Prices start falling. Didn't didn't table two suggest that inflation would be less than one percent? Perhaps a fear of of deflation. But of course, the increase in demand within the circular flow would help keep uh, deflation away. Develop your diagram, talk through the analysis, build it into your answer, and you won't go far wrong in this kind of question.